What was your favorite childhood toy? My favorite childhood toy was an electric football set. It's basically a scaled down version of a football field. It's about two feet by three feet, and you have these little football players, and they kind of buzz around the field, you know, because you turn on the outlet. It's just a really fun experience that I had playing with this toy. Now let me ask you a question. Maybe your favorite toy was a Barbie doll, or it could have been a Lego set, or possibly chess or checkers. Maybe your favorite toy was an Anna or Elsa doll from the movie Frozen, you know, Let It Go. Oh, wait a second, that movie just came out a few years ago, so it's probably not your favorite toy. Or maybe it was something basic like a marble set. Now imagine, as an adult, if you spent time playing with your favorite childhood toy. Spent time playing with your favorite childhood toy. My experience includes 24 years working in the toy or children's book business. I worked for eight years as a Target Store's toy buyer. Then I jumped into a different uh, profession and I was a, started a publishing company with a cousin of mine. But the toy industry was calling me back, Paul, come back, come back. So I became a Disney toy salesperson for about eight years. So with all this toy and kids entertainment experience, I'm wondering, what, what does this really mean? One day, I'm sitting around my apartment, and an idea comes to mind. What if I actually bought my favorite toy and played with this toy for 30 consecutive days? Ah, that's ridiculous. Why should I do that? But the idea stuck in my mind. Play with this toy for 30 consecutive days. So I decided I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go ahead and buy this toy and see what actually happens. So I go on Amazon. I see the National Football League electric toy set. So I make the purchase. Toy set shows up in a couple of days. And now I'm able to have fun with this experiment. So imagine this is what happens on the first day in the morning when I'm going to play with this toy for five or ten minutes. I get down on the ground. I set up all my football players. I'm thinking of this play, and I, I give the football to one of the running backs, and I turn on the machine, and the running back goes around the right end, and he running, and he's gliding, and he's moving, and he's moving. Oh my gosh, he's going to score. Oh my gosh, touchdown! Wow, that was just a fun experience. So I did this for 30 consecutive days. Okay, wait a second. There were about three or four days when I didn't play with my favorite toy. I was actually traveling for business, so it might have been kind of strange to pack up this football set, set it up in the hotel. I mean, I wonder you know, what the uh, cleaning people would think of if they saw a football set there. So I didn't do it for those days. However, I did play with the toy for 30 consecutive days. And a couple of memories came up as I was playing with the toy. I was born and raised in the Midwest, in the United States, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I was a huge, huge Minnesota Vikings football fan. They had amazing football teams during the 1970s. And they were so good that they went to the Super Bowl four times. Now they actually lost the Super Bowl four times, too. <laughs> Another memory I had was just how fun it was to actually play with that toy. I was a quiet, introverted kid, so it gave me pleasure just to be out there with myself, pretending like I'm playing with uh, the, the football players and having just a fun, fun time. Then another thought came to mind. As adults, are we actually 
having enough fun? Are we allowing ourselves to be a child again with everything that goes on in life, the hustle and the bustle, the busyness, all the scheduling, you have the internet, social media, there's just so much going on that it's really difficult at times to actually connect with your inner child and just spend time doing something that's fun for yourself. So as a former toy buyer and as a toy person, I'm actually going to give you the permission to do two things. One, go out and buy that favorite childhood toy of yours. Or maybe even a toy that you wanted to have as a child, but you actually didn't get as a child. So make that purchase. And then commit for 30 days, five minutes, 10 minutes, play with that toy. Now I actually have no idea what the outcome is going to be for you. I think that is between you and your favorite toy. So I want you to allow yourself to be a child again by spending time playing with your favorite toy. Thank you.